hello there welcome to my channel um, on this section we want to solve a question i saw this question uh, solved by cyber math and then it says that y prime equal to y over x and then he solved it so um but then what we are going to do in this section is to compare each solution to that of um the the solution of um chat gpt so we are going to use an ai to um we are going to ask the ai the same question to solve and see whether we are going to get the same answer so let's get into the video hello everyone in this video we're going to be solving a quick and easy differential equation now this might look like a very simple problem to you and we probably did this before or something similar to this problem i can't remember if i did this video before please let me know but my goal is to present multiple solutions so looks like i'm going to be presenting at least two solutions i'm also thinking about the third one at this point let's see if that goes well but let's start with the first method so for my first method i'm going to use a pretty standard approach because this is a separable differential equation so we need to take advantage of that y prime is the derivative of y with respect to x so we can write it as dy over dx equals y over x which is nice so let's go ahead and separate the variables put the y on the left divide by that and put the dx on the right multiply by that and you'll get this now this is really cool because the variables are separated so i can integrate when you integrate each side you're going to get something with the natural log function now let's avoid some of these issues because at the end they're going to simplify anyways so I just want to assume for simplicity's sake that y and x are positive. But even if they're not, this is still going to work. Why? Because of constants. Okay. So whenever I have something like y equals x, if x is positive, y is positive, and vice versa. But if I have y equals a constant times x, then you can kind of manipulate the constant to get what you want. Okay. I hope this didn't give away too much. Uh, let's get, let's continue. <laughs> we already started. So what is the integral of one over y dy? It is just ln y. Like I said earlier, I'm not gonna use the absolute value, just simplify it, oversimplify it, whatever you call it, and assume that all the variables are positive. And the right-hand side, the integral of one over x is ln x, and then I'm just gonna add a constant c. Okay, usually it's, uh, C is very common. Now, what would you like to do at this point? How could you solve for Y? You could do E to the power both sides. So E to the power ln Y equals E to the power ln X plus C. And E to the power ln Y is Y. And then this can be separated into E to the ln X times E to the C. But E to the C is also constant, right? Why? because c is constant, uh, a constant to the power constant is also constant, let's call this k. And e to the power ln x is the same as x, so we get the following, y equals kx. Wow, it's that simple? <laughs> yes, and you can definitely check this out, like differentiate y, you get k, and then divide, divide y by x, y by x, y is kx, so you get k, and that is equal to y prime. So the inequality, I mean the equality is satisfied. 